All right, everyone. Hopefully, everybody can see the camera's okay. I think we got it. Let me uh, kind of move this camera down just a little bit. And that just like that. All right. Hopefully, that works out good. Anyway, hopefully, it's not too, too tilted. Let me uh, see if I can finagle this at all. Or I don't know. There we go. Anyway, welcome back. Welcome back to Rico's Aquarium. This is Aquarium Talk, everything in between. I think episode 33. I didn't put it in yet. Uh, I have to go back and look. Um, did Fluo answer my questions already? Because I just got this today. And uh, because if you didn't see, I I'll leave a link to the other video. I just did a review, open box review, on the one, and I was telling you what I thought that it should come with. So, check this bad boy out. Now, I'm going to unbox it. We're going to we're gonna get into this. We're going to figure out, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll see what, it, what it's really about. You know, we'll give it an honest review, too. Um, Bluetooth. Now, remember I was telling you, like, oh, about the LED lighting, this, this, and that. So, this has got a programmable 24-hour light cycle. This is the Fluvo saltwater uh, kit as well. It's the Marine 3.0. So, make sure you understand that. Fluvo C, Marine 3.0 LED lighting. And this is their 32-gallon, 32-and-a-half-gallon, which is uh, 123 liters. Uh, of an aquarium, but customizable color spectrum. This is preset modes. So I want to get in this as operated exclusively via your mobile device. Dude, let me let me let me just get behind this table. Let me get onto this chat because the chat's way over there. I can't. Uh, I'm not going to be able to see. So let me. Uh, let me, let me let me let me let me get on to this chat real quick. Let me let me see something. Um, get to everybody's comments so I can see because I can't see from as far as where this is. Um, uh, let's see. All right. So it says what's cracking? Okay, what's up? Reef the sea. That's a nice tank. I don't know. I'm gonna open it up and find out. Um, if you are, if somebody has this tank, you can guys start telling us what you like and what you don't like about it in the chat. Can everybody hear me just fine, right? How's the picture quality? Is it coming out pretty clear? Uh, is this the newest one? Um, I, 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 I think so. I'm pretty sure. Not a hundred percent sure, but, uh, <laughs> uh, all I can say is I was, Telling them how I felt about, here, let me just show you. There, I'll just set this down here. Here is the, this is the reef capable version. And this is the 13 and a half gallon, which I told you what I like about it um, as well. So here's the Evo. This is the Evo. This is the Flex. Okay, now, I was telling you guys about the base. I tell you about the, the I felt like they should make a uh, media basket, a plastic media basket uh, for this as well. And the light, make it more controllable, you know, like programmable. And, you know, and I was like, hey, you know, Fluvo, make sure you listen, right? Listen, listen, Fluvo. And then I'm here today with this piece of a tank. Now, we're going to open this box up. I'm going to, um, it's got preset modes. Uh, it's obviously customizable color changing uh, spectrum. These are just some of the things that I'm reading off this box. I know absolutely nothing about this aquarium. 
Absolutely nothing. Um, I don't know what tank I'm setting up yet. I got one, two. I got three more tanks behind me. Three more tanks uh, behind me to look at. Uh, but this one. Uh, I'm just going to say, I don't know. I said, you know, something you can control from your phone, the whole nine yards. What's up, everyone? Real quick, everyone, if you have it, let me uh, get this set up. If you have it, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure that this, hopefully, this picture quality is coming out okay. Hopefully, it looks good on your guys' end. Yo, yo, yo. The Herm, what's going on, my man? Flash game, Claudius, Monty Reefer, Game with Cam, Gaming with Cam. What's up, man? Uh, hello, everyone. Reef and see forever. Yo, yo, yo. Use a fresh, I used a freshwater 13 flugel as a quarantine tank. I sold it. Well, Lone Star Reefer, what's going on, my man? Well, here's the thing. There's all kinds of things I would like to do um, that I'm thinking about doing. I'm not going to get into that. I need to open up this, okay, first and foremost. I'll put the chat right here so I can see what everybody's talking about. Um, this does look like it's a bow, it's bowed glass, too, by the way. So let's get this down. Now, I was talking hella smack. If you didn't see this video, I'll put it up here. Once I upload this video, I'll put a link at the beginning of this that you can go back and check, or you can just look in the uh, series that I'm running, uh, the episodes. It's got its own, you know, whatever, aquarium talk and everything in between, uh, and go check it out. So I, I said my piece on this. Now, it seems that they have what I was saying that I wanted to see on this. But, hey, don't get it twisted. I think they should still make this an option, two different kinds, for this size, because not everybody might not want a 32 gallon aquarium. So I, I'm going to stick to my uh, uh, initial review. I don't care that they are quick on responding. I don't. I don't care. Uh, that's still how I feel, right? And, and my, my opinion is the only opinion that matters. Everybody has to agree with me, right? <laughs> uh, I'm trolling myself a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Did the beast lay eggs? <laughs> That's a good one. Ah, did the beast lay eggs? Hey, she's in the garage, man. She's cooking. She's cooking. Maybe she did. <laughs> uh, is that a refugium quarantine tank? I don't know, Mr. Gray. Hey, <laughs> well, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. Let's 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 get this let's get this thing out of here. Ah, uh, all right. Okay, Flubo Flubo might be listening too much, too fast. You know, I didn't know that this actually. Honestly, I didn't know it existed. Uh so. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Uh, uh. Sorry, guys. If I'm in your way, you know, this is very small for me, but this would be perfect for somebody else. Right on the live stream. Pop! Right? Hopefully not. Please don't take a tank out of a box the way I just did. That could have ended pretty badly, you know. But hey, she's fine. Let's get this out of the way. And we'll get that over there. Maybe, uh, it's saying reefer. Says Rico, my man, what's up? No, what's up to you, buddy? Ugh. So if you guys are wondering, what am I doing? I just came in. 
Another nano tank on the rise here. So, I'm going to set this. I'm going to set this right over here. I'm taking out the plastic, taking out all the stuff. We don't, you know, the brochures and all this other stuff. Now let's 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 get let's get to this stuff. I'm tired of people not making accurate reviews and talking on the side of their mouth. All right. Let's see, let's see. So let's see what everybody's talking about. I do need an assistant. Can I get an assistant? I need, definitely need an assistant. Uh, bet you won't get it wet. And, no. <laughs> He's stupid, man. Okay. I'm going to start from the back of this aquarium. Okay? Now, I'll, I'll, off back. I'm sorry. I know this is making you guys nervous. All right. There it is, uh, leftover silicone on this aquarium. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be there for certain reasons. Um, I, I don't like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like how the silicone looks. Uh, it looks well, it, it, it looks sealed. Don't get me wrong. All right. But I just think it's, it's not a, it's not a clean job. Like, I got glass here exposed, and then it's like silicone smeared out here, and whatever. You're not going to see it. It's not a big deal. Uh, just being petty, maybe. Uh, but I want to check. So I got a weird inside. So I got an internal overflow on this, right? This is not external. This is internal. So it sits inside the aquarium. So I'm looking for the seal that how they sealed this on that end and also on this end. Okay, I'm looking for all that. Seals look pretty good on that, I must say. You know, also where the glass meets, you know, I'm looking for air bubbles. I'm looking for gaps, air bubbles, whatever. Down here, like I said, it's flat. It looks like it's... Um, they give you this foam pad, probably to go right underneath it, underneath it, um, you know, for the court and sit on. Like I said, this is nothing. You can, like I said, if you want to be petty, you can be petty. That's up to you. It's obviously your hard-earned money. And if you want to be picky about how clean on the bottom is, something you'll never see, that's totally on you. I totally get it. Um, as far as the se seams here, the seal, should I say, for the weir overflow. Good, looks like. All right. Inside. All right. I do like the, the bow front. So let me start from the back here. Let me start from the back. Let me copy the seam. All right. Let me start from the back. Let me see uh, what people are saying. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, don't forget right now, hit the thumbs up. You're coming in. Also, hello everyone. All right, got that clear. I'm gonna tell you right off rip what I what I don't like. Again, where I think they're screwing up at. Like, I think it's a so far a nice looking tank. All right, it's not a floating. This is gonna fit flat somewhere that you want, right? Um, okay, let me see this. Don't know what this is. We'll open this up here in a little bit. We know this is a mat that comes with it that obviously you put on the bottom, black it out, right? Cool. Can you guys tell me what the heck I'm going to say right now about this? Anybody? Can you please tell me what I'm going to say? Serious. Once again, right here. What is this? I mean, it's like so, so, so cheap looking. When you do stuff like this. Okay, seriously. You got this little cheap 
piece of plastic holding some styrofoam, you know, come on, man. Can we get some plastic bio media holders? This is really cheesy. It's really cheesy. I don't know exactly. What's the price point on this? Um, I don't remember. Um, it's cheesy. It's cheesy. So you got some um, ceramic media here. Once again, also a bag of uh, carbon. All right, carbon. Make sure you rinse your carbon out too. So you're at like 350 on this. 350 on this. You tell me you can't do plastic media chamber holders. Um, I'm, I'm and, and, and once again, I'm being dead serious. I'm being serious. Something where I can have a, a, even a sponge on top and different baskets, media baskets, to put certain stuff. If I want porcelain, if I want Rebel Rock in a basket with some carbon, whatever I want. I definitely think Fluvo, I, I, I think you have, let me, can I, can, I'm just going to be honest. I think you have a good product for, I, I, I want to say for a good price, okay? Um, obviously, there's some things that we can all learn from one another, some things that we can help each other out on. Uh, you know, my main thing is this. Stop doing this in your aquariums. Step it up. If it got to fall to the end consumer, then let it be. Just listen. You know, at the end of the day, you're in charge of your own stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, each and every one of us have a right to be able to speak about, you know, stuff that we get, um, purchase or whatever, uh, and, and give our honest opinion on it. It's not to, it's not to bash anything, but I, I can almost do a pull on this. I'll take a poll and I almost guarantee you. If, if I ask the community that's going to buy this, would you prefer this or would you prefer actually plastic media baskets to hold your media? I'm going to guarantee you hands down that they're going to want the plastic over this, you know, media trays, you know, different tiers to put different stuff in. I guarantee you, hands down, that's what they're going to want. So, hey. If it's going to add another $25 to this aquarium to add that, I don't know what it will be. Uh, I simply say, do it. Uh, what do you guys think about that in the comment section? Would you rather have this or would you rather have uh, the, the media trays with the different levels of different things that you could do? Honest opinion. Hit it in the comment right now. Right now. Um. So you have your overflow here. Oh, speaking of that, once again, which I don't see it on this, re removable teeth, removable. Make this removable. Offer a three-pack uh, that can we can change these out, clean these. Okay, we get bubble algae. We get all kinds of algaes. We get all kinds of stuff, okay? It's going to clog this. It really is. It's going to clog this. And we got to clean it, okay? And we might not want any downtime. We might have snails. We might have all kinds of stuff that could just go bloop if we don't have this in. So make these removable as well. Please and thank you. By the way, all you guys in the comment section, do you believe in to make these removable as well? Like I said, and listen, you can make a three-pack fluval, uh so when we take this out, we can throw that in a bucket, let it soak to be cleaned and let the, you know, maybe bubble, bubble algae or something, whatever in there, get off and uh, die and then, you know, give it a good wash. But we get, we can, you know, put, put a new one in and, you know, have extra. See, long term, long term, you know, better maintenance uh, ability. Yes, better maintenance ability. So, with that being said, let's open that. I, I almost guarantee what's in here uh, as well. Uh, I'm not done with this tank. I, 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 you know, I, I really am. There's, uh, you know, and, 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 and once again, people, I don't want you to think that I'm beating Fluval up. I think they, I think they have them. Uh, I, I like both these tanks. Do I think they can have room to improve? Uh, yes. you got to listen to the people. If you're going to charge money 
uh, for certain things. You know, first thing, I don't know any 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 business that doesn't want to improve. Not saying that they don't have something up their sleeve already. You know, and they don't have to give credit to me if they already think about it. You know, uh, I, I could care less about this stuff. This this these ain't even my size aquariums, by the way. Anybody that knows me, I I, I don't even deal with these really. But I want to do this because there are people. There are so many people that love these size aquariums. So guess what? I've been doing this all the time. Why not put my input on? And I'm doing. I think I'm doing a pretty darn good job with keeping it real and telling you exactly what I think the people want that want these aquariums uh, at this size because this is the only room maybe they have for these size or whatever. But I think I think I'm doing a good job speaking for those people and what I think that you can improve as a company to make things a little bit better, even if it's got to up the price just a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's your it's your guys watching this. What do you guys think in the comment section on this? <laughs> All right. So what I got here is a power brick. Okay. Um, okay. They already put the hose on this one. Okay. So I have a uh, a fluvo um, pump. Now I don't know much about the fluvo pumps. Um, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Like this one, I don't know if I could show you. Like, look at this pump up close, okay? Like these holes here, I don't know if it's supposed to not be there. I don't know, but it makes the pump look cheap. It makes the pump look really cheap. The pump feels cheap. Honestly, I would, I, it, 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 nothing against you, Fluval. Um, I, I probably would replace this with a CJ or something. Um, Hey, no offense to your guys' uh, pumps, but I'm going to be honest with you. It looks, if I'm going to hold this here so people can see, it looks pretty darn cheap to me, especially when you see stuff like this. Um, I, 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 I personally, you know, or maybe you can link up with C-Chat. Maybe that's what y'all should do. I mean, you can still build these, make these for um, people that maybe, you know, because, you know, for people that can't really afford a lot of pump or, you know, money on a pump, uh, make it affordable. Let them buy your pumps for whatever reasons, maybe water changes, stuff like that. But, you know, don't don't shoot the messenger here. I'm just doing a, I feel, a proper review. I will go get me a CJ pump and replace it. Oh, didn't run this. I will use this for a bucket for mixing my salt to do water changes on this. I would still keep your pump for that. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just being honest. I just feel like it ain't gonna it ain't gonna last too long, and, and that's me. I somebody might have this pump and can tell me uh, different on this, but I don't think this pump will last long. I think it will piss me off if something will happen while I'm away, not getting enough flow. I think I'll I, I would take a CJ pump. And that would probably be my first mod, you know, to this aquarium. Honest review. Sorry if you're mad at me, but it is what it is. I think, you know, it needs to be said, period. So um, let me uh, undo this. So we obviously have this that's going to go down in here, and it's going to sit here, okay? I, I like it. Now, what I can say is on this pump, it does have rubber feet. If you do choose to use this pump, use it. I'm not saying it's a bad pump. I never used this pump, so therefore, I can't tell you how long. I said the way it looks, uh, it looks cheap. It looks like it won't stand up for a very long time. Um, and I would probably not throw the pump away. I would use the pump to mix salt for this aquarium and still use it for its intended purposes to move water. I would definitely still replace this with a CJ pump. Um, I know CJ pumps. I like CJ pumps. And at the end of the day, uh, I would definitely replace this pump with a CJ pump. I feel more uh, more secure with a CJ pump. You get what I'm saying? Like I, I would, I, I would sleep at night, okay, knowing that I had a CJ pump in here, doing my water, moving my water, and you know that it's going to hold up. Not saying that this wrong. I could be totally wrong about this pump. 
And I'm not beating this pump up or trying to beat the pump down. I'm just saying, you know, if it looked like a duck, walk like a duck, it's probably a duck. It looks cheap and it looked like it ain't going to last me a whole lot of time. So that's all I'm saying. Sorry. Uh, this is a two handles for what? I got to figure out what that is. Um, I got to look at the which one. Goes. So it does come with a um, disperse. Uh, and we're just going to screw that in here. Okay. So I could, I could screw that in here. Bam. All right. All right. We got that. Let me turn this around. Let me turn this around for you guys. Okay. Now we're gonna look, we're gonna look at the uh we're gonna look at this, okay? So let's let's look at this now. Let me help. Uh, uh let me look at this pamphlet too, because I need to know what those those two things are for, which I don't know, because guess what? I don't do review neither where you know. I done studied everything. No, I want I want to be surprised when I look at my stuff. You know, I want to be surprised. I don't want to be like, oh, let me write this down. Let me write that down. No, nah, man, I want to give an honest review, man. I mean, no, honest reviews come with problems too, you know, but whatever I do, I can afford it myself. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um... So you can get an option for a protein skimmer that will fit in the same section right next to your uh, return nozzles here, by the way, looks like. They make one. Maybe I should get one for it. Um, maybe I should run this. I don't know. I'm just being honest. Okay, so that looks like that's a bracket to hold your – those are your mounting brackets to hold your light. So, uh, okay, that's those pieces there. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you right off rip. I'm going to start on this lid. All right, let me bring this up close. All right, those lights, um, it's got a glass here, okay, LEDs. It ain't like the other one that was like plastic, like encased in rubber, okay, the LEDs. This is actually like plexi or, or, or glass. And there's a whole slew of LEDs in here. I'm just being honest with you. I don't know how many LEDs this come with, but I'll tell you right now that this is a whole slew. Now, as far as the lid, yeah, the lid does feel cheap. Um, it is what it is. Um, I can't say a whole lot about it because it, it is what it is. It's, a, it, it's just a lid. A lot of us run stuff like this open top with a uh, pendant light or maybe some uh, uh, radions or something like that. What I will do is, let me, let, me, uh, let me see if I can plug these lights in. Now, I'm not gonna set up the app on these lights and get into all that, but before I do this, before I do the lights and plug those in and see what I think is different with the lights, let's talk about this front bow, all right? Now, when buying an aquarium, I don't care whose it is. I don't care if somebody say it's the top of the line. I don't care if it was a custom tank, especially custom tanks, because you're paying a lot of money for a custom tank. I mean, you're paying a lot of money for a tank, period, a lot of times. That ain't even custom just because of the name of the tank, okay? But on a custom tank, you, you want your stuff done a certain type of way, so you better make sure that your stuff is done a certain type of way. If it's not, refuse the shipment and send it on back. Do not sign the bill of lading, or you might not might not understand what that is. Uh, that's trucker terms. You know, when you get the deliver, the, 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 the sign off that everything is intact and you know uh, everything came together like it should. Well, no, if you ain't opened that box up and checked it up and checked your glass thoroughly, that that's BS. You just signed your money away, basically. But 
I'm not going to get too much into that, but you want to look at these seams, man. Now, when I look down this seam, I'm going to be honest. So, uh, excuse me for getting in front of you, but I have to because what I'm trying to do is – sorry for the camera. I'm going to move too fast. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to look to see the light coming this way in the seams, okay? I'm trying to make my sure my seams I'm not getting any kind of light or any kind of big bubbles. I'm trying to look for bubbles, okay? Now, it look okay. Now, when I go over here, I can see – just a very thin light right here. Now, the seam is fully intact, though. Okay, it's just it, it. All it is is it's how the uh, glass was. Like over here, it's got just a little bit more of a lip than on this side. Okay, what I mean is like where this panel here meets this curved glass here. Uh, there's really not a big lip here, and over here there is a lip. So the light hitting it, it looks like I get see light coming through. Uh, just for the record, the seam is fully intact. It's got a nice, thick, clean line uh, as well as far as the silicone, okay? Inside, I'm looking at the silicone inside. They could have did a better job just cleaning out the, 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 the little pieces of silicone that's just laying around. But I'm looking at the line. I'm looking how they spread the silicone. How did it look? Does it look like it's attached to the glass or does it look like it's rising off the glass? That is a big thing. Um, other than that, to be quite honest, I think it's a pretty cool tank. Um, do I like it the way it is? Yeah, I could I could picture uh, some stuff in here. I could. Um, I would probably use this as an observation tank for myself. That's what I'm thinking about using this for. I'm not lying. I'm thinking about using... And maybe you guys should let me know in the comments. Should I quarantine corals? Now, you guys already know how I feel about quarantining anything. But you know what? I might just do it just to show you what we're looking for. If I was to quarantine a coral, what am I looking for? And what would I do to quarantine the coral? And what, what processes would I take before it even entered my quarantine tank? What would Rico do? That's a very beautiful episode. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think I could use this in, 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 as an office tank. So let's, uh, let's undo this. This is a uh, the power supply brick for those lights. But I, I do want to see the lights. Uh, maybe I'll do a separate episode and... Uh, Separate episode. Yeah, maybe a separate episode on that. So how do we do this? Um, okay. Uh, so, okay. This goes there. And maybe I'll do it over here. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do a separate episode and walk you through uh, programming, maybe this, you know, because I could be surprised the programming might be kind of whatever, but you know, I don't know. Um, once again, I really don't care. Uh, and I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I really don't care what like Fluvo thinks or anything about my opinion on this. Um, you guys got to remember these, anything that I will be doing reviews on is strictly my opinion. And, uh, I'm entitled to that. And, it's to either a step up, make them step up their game, and listen to you guys as as end consumers. Uh, you are the end consumer, and sometimes it's best to buy everything that you want already done versus trying to hunt down third party stuff. Like third party stuff might cause a problem within your aquarium and cause something to break. And if the, let's just say, you know, I got a one year manufacturer warranty on this, right? Let's just say I did a third party um, media basket for this thing, right? And it comes in kind of tight or whatever. And I force it down, not really thinking much. Uh, and I crack the housing for, you know, to uh, for the all in one, you know, separate whatever the case may be. 
uh, that falls on my shoulder. I like to see companies do more of their own in-house stuff and listen to the, the customers, you know, and make things better for them, you know. Hey, and if you got to tack on a couple bucks, then who cares, right? I mean, if I got to go spend $25 maybe on a thing, why not just you do it and I pay you the $25 and it's all covered. It's all in one, right? That, that's just me. Does that make sense or I don't make sense on that? Anyway. Okay, I can tell you right now, uh, that's pretty darn bright. That's pretty darn bright. And that is a lot of LEDs there, buddy. That is blinding. I'm going to be honest with you. Blinding. Blinding. Um, blinding. Very blinding. So let's just see. Um, okay. Also, what I do like, I know you guys are, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going to be up. Okay. What I do like is that this core has a channel that you can run. Okay, let me turn it this way so you guys can see. Uh, a channel that you can run your wire down and, and get it to snap down and uh, get out the way. So let's get her out the way. And uh, here. Hold on. Let me do it this way. Down this way. Around here. And then it's got a hook where you can have it come out the back. All right? Hopefully the camera's working just fine. Anyway, let me just put this on here and call it a day so we can see. All right. Now, let's be real. Let's be real. I, I need to know what the problem, you know what? Hey, hold on. Let me, uh, you all want me to go get a PAR meter? Want me to go get my PAR meter and do a PAR test? I mean, no one doesn't have water, but do you want me to do a PAR on it? Let me know. I, I mean, if you guys are willing to sit tight, I can run and go grab it real quick. Or ask my son to go grab it. Um, is it, it is a live stream, so yeah. Okay, let me uh make, oh let me see let me see all the thumbs up. Get the thumbs up in here real quick, guys. There's uh, almost 60 people up in here. Let me see everybody go get hit the thumbs up real quick and I'll go get it. Better have the thumbs up. All right. Let me do that real quick. Hey Gavin, are you working? You know my car meter out the garage? My car meter, my stick, honey. It's on my side by where the old tech is. Can you grab it real quick so I can do this live stream with it? You know what it looks like. I think it's I think it's uh by the uh Red Sea Reef or the Beast. Okay, I got my wife and them to go go find it real quick for you guys. That's a good idea. See, this is why I like having a par meter too. Come on, guys. We ain't got the thumbs up. Come on, uh-uh. Go go back out, come back in, get those thumbs up. Let's go. All right. This is uh this is pretty cool though. Uh, the front of this aquarium, my thoughts on it as well. Uh, this bow front, I, I like it. Um, my problem is, is I like it too much. <laughs> um, I do. I really do. I like it. I like the way it looks. Um, it adds more space. You know, I feel like it adds more space because... You, you would make this straight here, you would lose, like, I don't know, probably a half inch, I would say. If I was to do, I don't know if anybody's ever done, no, that's like an inch. That's like an inch. I, you would lose an inch right here in the, in the gut section here, even though some of us could probably use an inch or two in the gut section. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so outside of what I've said already, let's get this par on here too. So I never, I mean, that's kind of, I'm glad I got a par meter, man. I mean, I, okay, let me grab that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now get your homework done. All right. So I do have the par meter and uh, we got about 19 people that didn't hit that thumbs up out of like 60. 
So uh, hurry up and do that, and I'll get on this. By the way, what am I going to use this PAR meter for? Uh, this is the Epi G510 PAR meter. Um, this um, is not going to be 100% accurate. This is not in water either, and I don't think it's ever 100% accurate, but I'm just saying. Um it's going to definitely give us a, a little something, and I have not tweaked the lights. Uh, this is just um, straight out of the box. This is right out the box. So, oh, who's up in here? Is that Saltwater Aquarium up in here? Jeez, what's up, my man? So, um, you guys ask a lot about this. I, I'm a firm believer in a PAR meter. Uh, it, it really does help. I, I know the price point and you hardly ever use it. And for what you're going to pay for this, uh, if you got a club or something that has par meters, um, you can either, if you have the extra bucks, you buy the par meter and maybe rent it out to people in your club to help pay for it itself. So everybody can use it in the community basically um, but it, it really does help when it comes to moving corals. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to turn this on and, um, I don't, I guess I'll have to kind of just lift this up here. All right. So let me just kind of move this over just a little bit or I'll tear nothing up. So let me try and the highest point. So the highest point on the bottom of this aquarium is holding about 93, 94 par. So if I go up, so as I hit about, I don't know, we'll say halfway up right here, I'm at 140, 141 par. Now, I don't have more than one hand. Um... I don't know if you're going to be able to see some of those. Okay, right there. It said 145, 141. You guys can see that, right? On camera, just so you can see what this what this aquarium is doing. Let me tell you something. That's growing SPX, okay, all day long. And then if you go six inches or so from the top, you're hitting two something. All right. Uh, two something. And I'm trying to hold it right under the light. So you're about two something, right at six inches, okay, from the water, top of the water. And then obviously we can go to the top. We can go all the way to the top on this. And you guys won't believe it, but that light is putting out almost a thousand par. Uh, hold on, if you, I'm, I'm not playing. These little strip lights actually putting out over a thousand par, and like I said, fifteen hundred stuff like that. Look at that light. If you don't believe, me. don't believe me. Look at that. I'm not lying. I can't even believe those numbers right now. And this is without water. This is without water. Um, yeah. That's not me tweaking anything. That's, that's factory just out the box. That's not me customizing anything. Those numbers are, hey, I don't, do I have to talk? Like, I, that, I'm glad I just did that. Now, I'm doing this live. This ain't, I don't have no, no, um, speech rolled up for this to 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 get you guys now this is real stuff this is just how i feel uh and it's just my opinion it's not set in stone um you know company's going to do what it's going to do uh when it comes to the back of this aquarium like i said um how i feel about it is stop with the uh put some actual um uh, trays in the back like i spoke on Definitely, definitely got to change it. I, I'm sorry, uh, Fluval, uh, if you come across this video, nothing personal. 
your pumps look like they're garbage stuff, okay? They, they look very cheap. Uh, look like you paid $10 on those pumps, and uh, they just look like that. So I would definitely use your pumps. I would continue to sell those pumps as a uh, a pump just, you know, make some money. Um, you know, not everybody can afford an expensive pump or anything like that. You know, we use maxi jets to make do all kinds of stuff with. Very inexpensive. Do that. But I would definitely replace this if you guys ever decide to buy. If you guys looking at this, maybe want to purchase this for whatever reason. Um, I would upgrade that with a C check. So I would place my order on this. But I would also, the first upgrade that this would get would be a CJ pump. Now, what size CJ pump? I don't know. I don't have um, the, the the line of pumps that CJ has. Okay. Now, what, once again, also don't forget, this is completely Bluetooth. Like you can use, th this is your phone. Um, you can use your phone. Here, let me get the box because I seen it on the box here. Uh, right here. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me bring this up to y'all. Let me bring this up to you. Look right here. Marie, 3.0. Uh, let me get my finger out the way. I know the camera's trying to uh, do it. It said, operates exclusive VA, your mobile device, not included. Obviously, they're not giving you an iPhone or uh, Android phone to, to control this. But they do have, and all you have to do is, guess what, with your phone. You know what? Here, let me, let me, let me see something, guys. You know what? I'm right here. Let me let me just see if I can get the cube scanner. Let me see if I can play with this a little bit for you guys. I mean, what, how, how much time? We ain't got much time because I'm keeping this done until about an hour. Uh, uh, let's say uh, the lights are also available separately up to 60 inches uh, on this aquarium. Uh, Saltwater Aquarium said that, by the way, Saltwater Aquarium's in here. So this did come from Saltwater Aquarium, for, by the way, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I can't answer it because I'm this is my first time looking at this. So I'm going by initial reviews and what should and maybe how it looks and what could be upgraded. That's it. Pure point blank. If you have any questions though, uh while they're in here, make sure you ask them real quick. Let me let me see if I can uh play with the app. Let me see what this app looks like. I was going to do a separate uh whatchamacallit on it, but I I will uh I will check this out real quick. Let's see. Um, Q scanner. Uh, Q scanner code. Do I have one? Do I got one installed? I do. I says I got two installed, right? No, I don't. Uh, hmm. Here, let me see something. Uh, flip it around. Whoa, 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 come on. Hmm. Well, I didn't even want to take a picture of it. Anyway, apologize, guys. All right, now I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get it on a whatchamacallit. Uh, sorry, let me see. Uh, how tall is the tank? Looks about the same size of my tank. Uh, somebody said uh, 16 inches here. I'll do that. I got my 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 tape measure in this room anyway. So the tank stands. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. I didn't even see something. Hold on, guys. I'm going to show you something else. See? This is why I don't, I don't like... Whatever. So the, the actually to the lid is about almost 16 uh, with the lid 16, but the tank is actually uh, 15 and a quarter inches. It looks like 15 and a quarter inches. Okay. Now, I don't know where 18 comes in from. Okay. At all. But on this box, let me show you this. On this box. Can you guys see this? You see that? Depth, three inches. 375. Um, six inches to 22. And at the bottom, 
it says 12, but we were right at the bottom. And maybe they, I don't know, uh, Sambit, I don't know. But we were already getting this number. We were like 94. Remember at the beginning? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like it, this, so they say 12, but the tank's like 15 something uh, inches deep. Uh, but we were already at this number. They're saying this number at 12, but this number actually would be higher. This number would be about 100. So in any way, going up, I'm saying it's a positive thing. It's a, it's, a, it's to me that's a positive thing. So the number would increase the closer you're you're, you're going up. So. We had 94, this saying at 12, but at 12, this tank would be at, it was at 15, about 94, but at 12, I expect this tank to hit like whatever. Now, water's not in this neither, so that does play a little bit of a difference too. Um, but anyway, let me, um, let me see something. I may open up this Q scanner and see if I can, uh... all right. It is scanning here. Um, let's see. Downloading. So we're downloading right now. Give me a second here. Should I turn on my Wi-Fi? Maybe make it faster? Uh, yes, no. There we go. Uh, 97. Okay, installing. Now we got to wait again. Anyway, so... What are you guys? Uh, yes, yeah, some. Yeah, I think I think it's a little bit okay. Open. Uh, uh, scan product. Uh, okay, is that even right? Scanning using camera. Only this time. Uh, um. Mm, open website. So you're about to open iTunes, Apple. So why am I using, oh, wrong one. I did the wrong one. So by the way, guys, don't do what I just did. Let me help you out. This can go over a little bit. They actually have an Android and an iOS. Don't do iOS if you're on Android. Um, I have both, but right now I have just this, uh, uh, this one. So... There we go. Okay. So this is what it's going to come up as. Fluvo Smart. Uh, so we're going to download that. And we're going to check this out. Uh, it's a nice starter slash budget tank. Um, what's the price ticket on this? $350? $350? Is it, am, I, am I right on this? $350? Not, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, open. Um, we could do we could do English. Okay, let me. Are we? Is this working? Okay, English and um, Argentina. Uh, select country. Um, anybody? Anybody with the price on that? I think somebody said 350. So United States, enter. Okay. So import. If you require help connecting to your light, please contact our support team at Fluvo Smart uh, at FluvoAquatics.com. Uh, please do not return the unit to the retailer from which you purchased it before doing so. Okay. Press to scan for a new device. Uh, only this time. So we are scanning right now. Uh, 450 delivered. 450 delivered. And this is uh, 32 gallons, I believe, or 125 mil uh, liters. Let me double check that. Should be on the front of this box. Sorry, guys. Uh, 32 and a half gallons, my bad, and 123 liters. So this is, okay, marine and reef. 
Seven fifty million. Okay. Um, all right, that's what it looks like. Is that is that it? Okay. All right. Here's what this um, setup. Uh, one thing that's cool and different is the hexagonal edge. Oh yeah 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 yeah. This yes yes hexagonal edge edges on the rim uh, hides the water line here yeah as well yep evaporation yeah yep so um let's see dude i'm gonna be honest with you that was the easiest app i've ever downloaded i'm gonna be honest with you um for whatever reason i don't know so you have a uh it says man you got auto and pro i don't know okay look at this guys can you guys see this can you guys like see this? Is it coming through? Okay, the best I can. Okay, um, sunrise. Look at that. You can start your sunrise feature. Okay, we can cancel and we can share. You got your daylight, sunset, night, and sleep mode. So you can hit all that. Put your color where you want, slide your bars. This is very nice, I, I must say. Very nice, guys. Uh, night. This is your nighttime mode. Look, I, I know. Here, let me shut the light off. Let me dim. Let me. Let me just. Let me. Let me dim this light in this room. Let me, let me just dim this. Here, we'll just shut it off real quick. This is the night feature. This is. This is definitely. Um, you're probably not going to see that right now, but this is in night mode. Okay, and there we go. That is your night mode option. It's so darn easy. And then here's your day. Okay, like you got your day, sunrise. You can do all that. Night, cancel, and then sleep. This is nice. Let me turn the lights back on. Sorry, guys. I had to do that. I had to, I had to make it so you guys can actually see what this aquarium looks like. Um. That was uh, pro or auto and then pro uh, 10 time point set on a pro. So once again, here we go. I love these cameras. If you're wondering what kind of cameras I'm using, I'm using HD 1080p pro uh, Logitech. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with that. Uh, just works, Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, password, et cetera. Keep it simple. Uh, the KISS method. Hey. Keep it simple, stupid, okay? I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I sat and, and, and did a, 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 a review on another set of lights, and uh, yeah, they fixed it. But at the same time, I was ready to throw the lights across the room. Like, I didn't care. Like, this, I've never had that kind of experience where I can honestly say I just did, I just scanned. I scanned, I sc did scan the wrong one. I did the ISO. I've got an Android here um, instead of the Android. Boom. I scanned it. Boom. It asked me to search uh, for the device. So it found it with ease. I clicked it. Boom. Set it. Forget it. That simple. Uh, I'm sorry. That's uh, for 450 shipped. I don't know about you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comment section on this. Um, I think... Hey, it's 32 and a half gallons, okay? Let's just say 32 gallons, half gallons in the back, whatever, maybe a gallon. So let's just say 29 and a half gallons of space up front, another gallon in the back, filtration purposes, whatever the case may be. Great tank. I think we're going to keep this tank to maybe do a quarantine tank. What do you guys think I should do? If you're just now tuning in and this video is ended, Obviously, you can always leave comments in the comment section. I would like to hear your uh, points of view on this aquarium. And also, do you agree what I said? Um, highlight of what I said. Let me, is, 
the light on. I feel like I ain't got enough light on me. Okay. Um, hold on. What was said? Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, password, Accenture. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah, so let's go over this. Um, I like this light better than the 13. What was the other one? The Evo. Uh, the Evo is a very nice tank. I'm not knocking the tank. I said the same thing. Media basket. I would like to see that light, this light here on the Evo. Uh, what is it? Uh, is that 13 gallons? 13 and a half gallon aquarium. I want to see the Evo that has that same option that this one has on an Evo. If fluval. If you're going to listen to anybody, listen to me right now. I think you'll sell more of those tanks as well. Um if you make it simple when it comes to a light like this, do it for that. If you got to up it a little bit, do that. Also, if you ain't seen my video, all you have to do is go see the other video. It's the Nano Aquarium Unboxing. This is Nano Aquarium Unboxing. Okay, it says Fluvo whatever uh, on the thumbnail. I will put the same thing thumbnail here of this one, um, which is the Flex. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I like the flex. I'm, I think I'm keeping it. Sorry, guys. I'm not giving this tank away. I don't think I'm going to give this tank away. I'll give. I, I'll do the other ones maybe, you know. Uh, I, I, I like this one. I like the par that I got from this. Uh, the par readings, no water, obviously. And uh, I think it's a great uh, quarantine slash fried tank. What do you guys think? Seriously. What do you guys think? Um also, everybody in here, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask questions. We are a little over an hour. I'll do about nine more minutes, nine and a half minutes, eight and a half minutes of question at this point. Do you have any questions for me uh, about this aquarium? Real quick. Uh, what do you guys think? What's your uh, honest opinion and, and views of this aquarium? Hey, West Coast, what's going on, my man? Yeah, I, hey, West Coast. Shh. I might put some of your babies in here. But I might just do an all softy tank with the Planet Aquariums tank. That's what I'm thinking about. So I don't know if you guys seen me in Instagram with me. Uh, I'll say Little Ken because uh, Big Ken is Daddy Ken. Uh, that's the old man. I love that old guy, man. He's cool. If you guys ever uh, go to Saltwater Aquariums booth, if the show's ever picked back up, and Daddy Ken is there. You'll see him. Tall, uh, tall guy, old, older guy. Um, hey, don't shake his hand. He's a cool dude, man. Um, yeah, you got to have cool ones, man. Cool dads around like that. But uh, cool dude, uh, don't, don't shake his hand. But anyway, not to get off the topic. I did a, I, I did, it was me, Jeremy from Planet Aquariums. Uh, he's their rep or whatever. Um, and Ken. And we, we took a picture behind this planet aquarium. I was really impressed with the aquarium. Um, that's the aquarium, what I really would like to get. Um, they had some other stuff. Like what I really liked was uh, interchangeable panels and stuff. I'm not going to get into that right now uh, because it's in the work still. But uh, trying to work on that and get that and get that started and set up as well. I do have to reach out to Aqua FX. Uh, I did just install... For almost four grand, the the whole house watering softener system to to uh, eliminate the you know any harsh water for me uh, because I am on a well now I'm not on city so my water yay free water uh, but I just did that I don't know probably I don't know we've had to wait for like almost two months because of everybody's just so backed up and. Uh, I deal with a local in-house uh, for that. I could have done it myself. I could have saved myself probably $1,500 or a 1000 bucks doing it myself. Um, I just ain't got time to do it. So I need to get with them. Um, I, I have a plan for my reverse osmosis. If you guys already know, that's who built my uh, RO units. If you ain't checked them out, go check them out. They're awesome. You, it, it feels you, like you, you pay – like. Your money's in your hand. You see, it doesn't feel cheap. Okay. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, those guys are pretty, uh, really respectable and stuff like that. So go check them out. Oh, by the way, if uh, if you do mention my name over there uh, and just tell them, hey, Rico said, I, I, give me 10% discount. 
I guarantee they do it for you. So I don't care if you use my name over there. Tell them I said that uh, to give you a 10% discount. All right. So you'll get 10% if you had something built for your uh, your aquarium for your purposes. So uh, you can get that 10%. So um, like I say, I always try to look out for everybody. I do my best. Uh, keep it simple. Keep it real. Keep it moving. Uh, anybody had any questions? Uh, quarantine tank wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't think so because I think I'll make it a series. So I'll show you what I'll do. I'm actually thinking about two tanks to make a quarantine, and I'll tell you guys at a later time why. Uh, but not to uh, be funny, I will uh, definitely do one, and I will do episodes on why if I was to be really hard up on doing uh, quarantine systems, um, this is the way I do it. Second, all, I'm going to probably do it for the simple fact is I'm going to not have a beast of a system. And one of the cool things that I don't, I, I, I don't really quarantine is because my systems are really large and I can put a lot of things that will help me out to deal with pests. So I never really had an issue. I don't know if you guys know anything at all, but I don't know what's happening with our fish and in, fish industry. Um, far as I know that Hawaii shut down. So if Hawaii shut down, you're going to really get your uh, wallets out on fish. Last I heard yellow tanks were for around me. We're going for like 150 bucks when there used to be only be 20 bucks around here, $25. Okay. Sometimes you'll get it for 30, 32 bucks reasons. I don't understand that. But that's what it normally is by me. And now people are talking like 150 bucks for a yellow tank. I'm good. I will run fishless systems and I'll show you how to keep up with nutrients demand on a fishless system. So something else to think about. Uh, any more questions? Yellow tanks here are $100. Well, there you go. Uh, I don't know where it's here at. Um, also, thank you, Flashkin. Flashkin, you guys get Flashkin. Uh, a hand. He's always uh, helping me out. I, I got to say he's my number one mod here. Um, I will be going to visit Flashkin and um, giving Flashkin um, uh, appreciation uh, gift card uh, as well. And if you guys uh, don't know, I will be traveling this summer, this spring coming up, uh, weekends, probably Thursday through Sunday. I will try to get as many people in. My plan is to hit about 50 people uh, this summer, I, I plan on stopping at 50 people's houses and checking out some of your LFSs, okay, uh, this summer. So I got big plans. What I want to do, I do have to get um, some camera gear. I got my, my Canon ADD, but I'm going to get a GoPro. I need to get a GoPro. Uh, I don't know what GoPro, if you guys don't mind, once this video is uploaded, tell me what I should do as far as a GoPro um, I got to get a GoPro motorcycle mount, uh, tripod. I got to get all these little accessories, some more SD cards, micro SDs, whatever I need for this. Never use a GoPro. So this should be fun. Very interesting. But uh, I will be doing interviews coming to you, near you. I will let you guys know where my next adventure is going to be. Uh, you guys can DM me. You can tell me where you're at, where you're located. If I can get a couple people in that area and it's pretty tight knit, um, that I can just like kind of make my rounds, uh, get you in. Uh, if you like to show your tank and be part of this uh, summer adventure, uh, let me know. I greatly uh, would appreciate it. And uh, everybody that I stop to and stop at, I'd like to uh, gift you guys with a little something just to pay it back, help out the community. A lot of you guys spend your hard earned money. You work your tails off uh, to put it into companies hands. And uh, I will just say this, that myself and I'll tell you who uh, and later on else is uh, really want to pay it forward and help you guys uh, just give back a little bit of appreciation for you guys uh, spending your money. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. And um, by the way, uh, but I, I'll officially announce that uh, at, at a later date. And what I was going with is Flashkin real quick. Give him a hand. Uh, he does his, he works his tail off 
and really does help me. And I will be out to visit him. And don't forget, guys, if you're new to this channel and you are looking to try to get some kind of discount, Saltwater Aquarium has graciously uh, uh, gave me a 5% discount code. You can find it in all my videos in the description uh, for life. So if I die tomorrow or if I leave YouTube's platform, they sealed the deal. Like if I left YouTube, my videos are always there. Discount code is always there. You can always use that discount. Does not matter if you already have an account. Um, it will link those counts. Now you can't take what I have. And also if you're a military or in the military or anything like that, uh, understand that that is uh, you're already getting a military discount. So you can't do that. And also uh, this discount code does not work towards uh, uh, it's got to be non mapped items, by the way. OK, so mapped items are very strict on what they can and cannot do. Hey, if they want to carry certain people's products, it's to kind of make sure everybody's on the same playing field and make things, you know, run smooth for everybody. So just so you know. Once again, thank you all. Uh, I am exactly a uh, little over again. So I just want to say if you guys have any other questions, please leave it in the comment section. I want to know your guys' thoughts of my review and what do you think uh, as far as the things that I said on this aquarium, which is the, uh, what is it, the Fluval Sea Marine. Uh, sorry, guys, I don't have this memorized at all. LED lighting, smart app. Flex saltwater aquarium kit, you name. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the love and support. Thank you guys for smashing those thumbs up. I greatly appreciated it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.